starting over. Um, what exactly does that mean? Previously on Living Off Grid. It's not my best cup of coffee. I could have let it sit for a little bit longer, but it's very warm. I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> it's delicious. Thank you. We escaped in here to eat breakfast and drink our coffee because it's like, yeah, you guys already seen it. It's like snowing and hailing outside. What happened to my hair? I don't know. You're bald. <laughs> Why did that happen? Bird, so cold. <laughs> decided to move here at a very nice time. <laughs> um, it's been sunny for two days in a row. Even though it's winter time and this is the coldest February that this area has ever had in history, ever. It's starting to move into spring now, which is why we came here at this time. But today, we're getting rain slash snow slash wind, even though we don't feel the wind because our property is protected by trees. It says windy with rain showers early with precipitation turning into a mixture of rain and snow for the afternoon high of four degrees Celsius. So we've got tarps, lots of them now. We've got the van. We've got this nice canopy you can see out the window there behind us. And we've got the carport. We have to get the carport installed and ready to go. I mean, Monday or Tuesday. Yeah. By Monday or Tuesday. It's a cute little carnivore looking for chickens to eat. Oh, he's like, he's like spotted. Oh my god, it's like a little cat. This little guy is called a marten. They are found in northern deciduous forests across the northern hemisphere. They are always seeking warm and dry places and they like to gnaw on soft materials. Martens cause damage to soft plastic and rubber parts in cars and other parked vehicles, annually costing millions of dollars, thus leading to offering of marten damage insurance. So we need to watch out for these cute little critters. I'm on the west coast of Canada, Pacific Northwest. It's a beautiful day, even though there's some frozen rain coming down. It's kind of mystical. My girlfriend Nicole and I are trying to make it living off grid here in British Columbia, and we need a boat. Our property is boat access only, and we need a boat that's fast, reliable, has the ability to travel with us, is light, but also has some speed so that if we ever need to go back and forth between here and the mainland, we can travel that route quickly. So with the snow dust coming down, we're gonna unbox and put together this Striker Hunter Jet 420 boat right in front of you guys. And I hope you'll stick around till the end of the video to see us take it out on the water and see how it performs and also see what outboard engine we got for it. This Tahatsu engine is pretty amazing. And I wanna show you guys how fast this thing can go.
All right, we got it inflated. It's a lot of fun to put it together. I'm the kind of guy who hates to eat healthy and hates to work out and hates to build stuff, but I do anyways because I know that when I'm finished the workout, or when I am finished the healthy meal, when I'm finished with the project, I feel so good. So I feel really good. It's all put together and inflated. Nicole put the oars together. We're gonna canoe paddle it over to the dock by our other boat. We're gonna install the motor on there and then take it in the ocean and rip it and take it for a spin. second full day on the property has been a very cold one it's been like snowing all day um, like off and on right now it's snowing and I'm bundled up here <laughs> in the van while Jake is making dinner outside I feel bad but it's just way too cold for me to be out there right now so I am enjoying some chip salsa and watching some YouTube videos I don't know that's about it not a whole lot to vlog you know set the striker boat up as you guys seen it was freezing. It was so cold. I don't know how Jake did it. We have to finish that tomorrow and then we're going to go into town tomorrow. So we'll finish the vlog out tomorrow. Jake out there in the snow. You're beast in it, babe. <laughs> Put the music going. Get some snacks. Are you staying warm? <laughs> I love you. You're doing great. Love you. <laughs> All right, it's really peaceful out here. It's really quiet. We saw our first animal today. Something called a marten, I think. It's like a, a beaver with a chipmunk tail wandering around in the snow. And it's so beautiful out here. The snow's coming down. Even though it doesn't snow here, once it hits the ground, it kind of evaporates. But uh, the car's on for heat in there. Nicole's in there getting some, uh, some warmth on because she was freezing, filming a lot of our life today, putting together the striker boat. And I'm doing dinner, so. Got a little station, we got a little canopy going on now. We're moving up in the world. I'll give you guys a sneak peek of what we're doing for dinner underneath the canopy. So I'm safe from the snow. Whoa, it's already going. Got a base of uh, bok choy, olive oil, onion, salt, pepper, garlic. It's gonna be our base. We're gonna add in some lentils to this and uh, make a little doll and then do some pasta with the doll. All right, I'm gonna finish up this dinner and uh, I'll cut back inside the van. We'll give you guys a little final dinner, show you guys what it looks like and give you a little taste test. Got the snow. Today's a hard day, but I love my life right now. I'm so grateful. Battery is about to die on the camera, but God, I'm so grateful right now. I'm just so happy. This is gonna be the best dinner ever. We skipped lunch today, so hungry. This dinner's gonna be hot and scrumptious. Wow, babe, this dinner looks absolutely delicious. Got some ginger tea back there. Ginger mm. tea. And what kind of food did you make here? This is just um, a base of like onion, garlic, oil, salt, pepper, some spices, like paprika and cayenne pepper and olive oil and then once the base was cooking up then I added in red lentils a little more salt and then I cooked up some pasta and added that to it with some uh, sweet red or sweet orange pepper and some bok choy. It looks delicious and it smells really good. And I took it off the, um, the fire real hot so that it's gonna heat up this van and we're gonna be hot and everybody's gonna be nice and warm while the snow falls outside. Yeah, <laughs> awesome. Let's eat. Cole's going to sleep. Good morning, guys. Today is day four, I think. I'm not even too sure. Days are kind of blending together. Um, it's snowing, or there's snow everywhere outside. It was snowing all day yesterday. Um, but 
today we are going into town, which I'm super excited about. Jake and I are going to go hit up the gym, which has a shower, and we haven't showered in a while, so I'm really, I'm really excited to feel the warm water on my body, <laughs> to be honest with you. Um, if you guys have ever gone camping for a long period of time, and then you take a shower, and you're like, oh. <laughs> it's so nice. So I'm just in the back of our house I guess or our back of our place whatever you call it van life I folded up all the blankets right here because we have to put our outboard motor I think it's outboard yeah outboard motor in the back of here so we could take it down to the dock so we can finish videoing and setting up our super fast hunter boat um, aka striker that's gonna get us way faster than our grandma tuk tuk boat which I'm jazzed about I really like our big boat um, the tuk-tuk, but it's so slow. It takes us so much longer to get to our property than this hunter boat is going to. So I'm jazzed, I'm jazzed about that. Um, Jake's outside just making some coffee. And then uh, we're going to do that real quick and try to get out of here ASAP because it's kind of a race against the sun because I don't want to drive back in the dark because it's it gets pretty dark. <laughs> and it's not a full moon, so I think it's even a, like, I think it's a new moon, but... I'm not too sure. So yeah, so I'm going to finish cleaning up in here, drink some coffee, and get to work so we can get into town. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> Breakfast of coffee and cereal yet again. Easy food. <laughs> gonna be too big for you. Are you insulting me? <laughs> no. I felt like that was a little tongue in cheek. <laughs> you got the boat all set up. Looks looks amazing. We're heading into town and heading to the gym so we could take a shower. <laughs> and work out. And work out of course. How's your uh, confidence factor riding this boat? I feel pretty confident. It's we drove it over here and it felt pretty good so well we just drove it around the corner but yeah this life jacket has pockets. Wow, you're so cool. Mine does not. I never have them. And you know, do you have a strap that goes around your underneath your crotch? You do. Damn it. Yeah. Okay, we're all in the boat, ready to go. Here's my life jacket. It's you know your typical boring, puffy life jacket <laughs> with a strap that goes to the crotch. But I think it's a little too big for me because I'm on the last. It's as tight as I can pull it. But it was on the boat that we, the other boat that we bought. So these came in handy. So. Yeah. There you go. Give us a good push where the <laughs> the motor is going to go right into the duck. Here you go. That's okay. Nice. <laughs> nice job. Thanks. All right. Let's go to town. Yeah, let's <laughs> After an amazing boat ride, Jake and I finally made it to the nearby town to get some more supplies, such as some wine, a wheelbarrow, and some other miscellaneous things. We're also making some new friends along the way. Packed full? <laughs> How much more do you want to put in the Prius, eh? Yeah, no. <laughs> oh, you uh, a little bit of gasoline. That's all we're going to do. 
We also stopped by the local cafe to enjoy a nice hot latte and to use their Wi-Fi. After running our errands, we did a quick workout and finally took a shower, which was amazing. How well did you floss? <laughs> Deep and tight and over and over and over. Oh my god, are you filming this? <laughs> How many times did you brush your teeth? Twice. <laughs> I know I flossed it out really good. I brushed twice. The roof of my mouth, my tongue, my teeth, <laughs> everything. Jake and I made it to the dock where we have to unload everything and put it in our new striker boat, which turned into another workout. <laughs> you made it. Made it. <laughs> All right. Do you think this is a lot of weight in here? Are you, we, we okay. good? Listen, this is a striker hunter boat 420 jet. It's rated to hold 10 adult people. They say 3,000 pounds. There's no way we have close to 3,000 pounds in here. There's no way we have close to 10 people worth of weight. All right. We got a couple four 50 pound concrete bags. That's 200 pounds. That's like one person. We got four canisters of gasoline. That's like another person. Maybe another person. Maybe like th five people total. All right, we're good to go. Let's go. Famous last words. <laughs> Make sure I'm secure. How do I look? <laughs> like my first Ready mate. For the fun part. Watch my pants. Oh my god. <laughs> How do I look? Like uh, Ginger and Mary Ann all put together. What? The Professor and Mary Ann here on Gilligan's Isle. Okay, let's go. Okay. Cute as a button. I had to stay warm and safe. <laughs> you look ready for action. Let's hope it's a boring trip with just beautiful views. A boring trip? Yeah. With beautiful views. Alright. You're my favorite. Oh, thank you. My favorite human being. You're my favorite. No way. I make you upset sometimes. <laughs> well, I think Summer is my favorite, but you're second. What? I'm just kidding. Who is this Summer? I'll kick his ass. <gasps> Her. Oh, it's your best friend. That's right. I forgot. <laughs> just kidding. Okay, let's close this up. Come on, before you get start. Am I like a close second or what? Very close. Like okay. pretty much tied. Oh my god. I love you, Summer. I can take Summer down though. <laughs> <laughs> Up next on Living Off Grid. Fire going strong, we got some big engagement. 